Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can create a tornado chart within Power BI. So tornado chart is basically a chart which helps us do the comparative analysis. For example, if we have the group of category values which we want to compare how we are doing from last year to current year under each category actual sales perspective or actual profit perspective we can do that comparison with the help of the tornado chart and there are various other use cases but it's just that it looks really good and uh, i think the inspiration is coming from the uh, tableau where in tableau it's been used a lot for doing a comparative analysis and here with just few clicks within the power bi you can create the tornado chart and before i move on to turn tornado chart you uh if you are new to this uh, to my channel uh, or to this power bi series then i would like to tell you that this sheet is present within the description where i have mentioned all of the power bi tutorial title along with their link so you can search any of the video over here or you can follow step by step and you can click on the link or if you want to create your own custom list you can create your own custom list and uh, produce or you know learn the way you want it so this this sheet is present in the description which you can utilize it along with that i have the google data studio report which contains all of my channel's video for power bi for tableau for click sense click view python which you can use it along with that there are projects as well which you would like to use and irrespective of what tool you use you can still create you know practice with the help of the, those projects and you can search each of those projects with the, with that uh, google data studio report all right a lo lot of marketing now let's go ahead and uh, start with the power bi tornado chart so here we are within the power bi and this is how the tornado chart looks like so what i'm doing right now i have these categories like appliances and what I'm doing is I'm comparing 2010, which is uh, sort of the magenta purple. I think if, if I'm colorblind, I think that's what it is. But if I'm not colorblind, then probably that's what it is. But over here, we have this uh, sort of greenish color that, that we have. And uh, this basically indicates how well we are doing. So for example, office machine, in 2012 we have the higher value of office machine as compared to the 2010 and we can do any other comparison that we want like for example 2009 and i want to compare it by holding down the control key i can choose 2012 and it will show us that value all right so how we can create it we'll just come over here and i'll just remove this and i'll remove this as well okay and uh, i'll now go into the visualization over here in the three ellipse ellipses which is get more visual so these are the custom visual that we need to get once you click it over here you need to go into this get more visual option and get more visual is where uh, you will going to come under all and here you have the tornado chart if it is not present here maybe in your version you can search it from here I'm using the most recent version of the Power BI and I have this tornado chart over here uh, which I can click on add. Since I have already added it, it's present here. Is This is a very small icon of tornado chart. So I will just going to close this and click it over here. Tornado 2.1.0 is basically the version that I'm using. So I'll just click it over here and i'll try to expand this okay so once i have expanded this what it is showing us is basically three different sections where we have to put the field one is the group second is legend and third is values okay so what is group so group if we come over here is the subcategory this is how we want to group the values then we have the order date all right let's come it over here and i will choose the date hierarchy and date hierarchy is coming to here should be fine because i want to have the year level 
year level comparison and then the values for values are going to pick the sales so now if you see what we have is the most late, uh, most earlier year is the 2009 and 2010 so if you see office machine in 2009 you have a lot of sales compared to the 2010 which is all almost or slightly near to the half of the sales which you did in the previous year now how to do that comparison where you can basically customize this uh, that you want to compare 2009 with 2012 or you want to compare 2010 with 2011 so it's like you have more control over the visualization well for that what you need to do is click outside and come over here in the slicer so you have the slicer over here and if i just put it on the most right over here you will see that uh, i'm going to pull the order date and if i come over here and click on the date hierarchy we have the date hierarchy so if i just and i'll reduce this okay here you go we have the i'll just try to get it out it's more around the layering and all so now if i just expand this oops some misalignment so let me just align it properly and uh, i'll just pick 2009 and hold down my control key and pick 2012 all right so now the same visualization is present here if you want you can expand this if it goes well with the with this i think this much is fine or this much is fine so now we can compare whatever we want make sure you hold down your control key and click here to uncheck it and let's say you want to compare 2009 with 2012 you have this visualization so 2009 is this purplish color and you have this 2012 which more is greenish color over here so that's how you can create the tornado chart for doing the comparative analysis which helps you understand the data in this perspective that as compared to the previous year how well you are doing but this is not limited to to this like legend you can have other legend as well based on your interest it can be any categorical value as well but here since year made more sense i chose the year but you can experiment with other uh, legends based on your interest so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic but just one last quick thing is related to the formatting if i click on format you will see that the data color is the option which i wanted to show you so you can choose whatever data uh, the color option that you like from here based on the needs and uh, see what should be the first value for the first bar and what should be the value to the second bar and accordingly it will going to uh, help you use the or produce the visualization all right so that's pretty much it now i'll meet you for sure in the next video